During the heat of the summer, in the dark, humid corners of the woods, a huge spider spins its giant web to catch prey. This is the golden orb weaver, often called the banana spider. Right above my head, there is an absolute monster of a golden orb weaver. One of the biggest spiders you can find in the southeast area of the United States. Maybe the biggest. It's a, it's a close call between a couple species. I got this jar. I'm going to try to catch it and take a nice close look at this thing. Wow, he's huge. Look at the size of that orb weaver. That is so cool. Let's get him out and get a closer look at him. All right, here's our spider. Let's take her out. This is definitely a female. Males don't get anywhere near this big. They're much, much smaller. Should be pretty easy to handle. Wow, look at that thing. Look how big it is. That's insane. You're, uh, you might be wondering, wait, wait, is this dangerous? No, it's not. They're completely harmless spiders. They're not aggressive at all. Not very defensive either. Really, the only way to get this spider to bite me would be to press down, you know, press it against my skin. I'm not going to do that. And if you did, for some weird reason, decide to bite, pretty much harmless when it comes to the venom. It's designed for insects, stuff like that. Not going to hurt me. Might sting, itch a little bit, but nothing very serious. This is probably the biggest spider you can find in the area. Maybe the Carolina wolf spider and maybe some of the fishing spiders could give it a run for its money in the, in the size department, but I don't know, that's a big spider there. And they're very colorful spiders. Look at the beautiful patterns they have. On their back, they have their orange with yellow white dots, and on the belly, they're this like crimson red kind of, maybe more like a burgundy. Whoops. Caught himself on his safety thread. Beautiful spots. Yeah, just gorgeous spiders. Look at the silk she's leaving behind. So she's trailing this little safety thread in case she falls. And her silk is so, so strong. And the, the, actually, the reason they get the name Golden Orb Weaver is that their silk has a yellow tinge. And it's thought that that helps attract uh, pollinators into their webs. So things like bees, butterflies see that yellow silk and get honed in and then get stuck. And their webs are so strong. Look at, look at how strong, it's actually difficult to break. It's like, look at that, that stuff is so powerful. And this, the silk is actually so strong that they can catch sometimes small vertebrates like little, little frogs or even small birds or bats in some rare cases. They are quite the predator for their size. You can see her fangs on the front of her face. That's where she has her venom. So when something like a butterfly or a bee gets caught in her web, she'll rush down, wrap it with silk, and then bite it. So that pumps her venom in. That kills the insect and allows her to feed safely. These are big spiders. So they go after big prey. Butterflies, bumblebees, dragonflies, horseflies, and big insects, cicadas, all those we caught in their webs, and these spiders will take them down. The males are much smaller. I mean, I mean really, really much smaller. Uh, they'll be about, about that big, and you'll see them sometimes waiting on the edges of the web for their chance to mate with the female. Actually, since, the, since, since these webs can be so huge, sometimes there'll be, there'll be some species of spiders that specialize in robbing prey from the, you know, the, the host of the web. So if something small enough that she doesn't really notice gets caught, they'll try to steal it before she can get her meal. Pretty neat stuff. I mean, that's just so... Look at that. You know, a lot of people are really afraid of spiders, especially one of this size. But see, she means me no harm at all. All she wants to do is just walk off of my hand, which I will let her do fairly soon once I'm done. She doesn't want to bite... She's not aggressive or defensive in really any way. I mean, she's very peaceful, very docile spider. That is so awesome. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, learning about these amazing spiders with me. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Let's get to Island Wildlife.